Hi there, I am your guide to help you in any activity or pose that you are trying to progress forward in to give you that athletic edge to keep going and to keep progressing whatever matters to you most. Now for this class, you're just gonna need your yoga mat. We are focusing on core very quickly with balance. And I do recommend you come into a, a kneeling seat or any kind of seat. We're gonna take care of our wrists because we will be on them. So bending the elbows, keep the elbows close to the ribs, knuckles forward and start to circle the wrists. This is very important and you'll thank yourself later for doing this. So make sure the knuckles are forward so you're isolating the wrist joint and then reversing the circle. And stay with your breath. Okay, now shake it out. Now a quick note, I'm going to say my right and left because otherwise I'm going to mess this all up. So just pay attention to the, the, the right and left and just keep going. Come into downward facing dog and just stretch out the spine, pedal out the feet. Keep looking back at your toes. Just give yourself a moment. Okay, now bend the knees and pivot over to the right. Keep the knees bent. Take the right leg back, lift the left arm and feel that stretch on the left waist obliques. We're gonna do three for three throughout. Exhale, elbow to knee and reach it out. And exhale, elbow to knee, reach it out. Exhale, elbow to knee, reach it out. Last one, exhale, elbow to knee, reach it out and pivot back to downward facing dog. Let's go for the other side. So bend the knees and pivot the heels over to the left. Left leg back, reach the right arm out and feel that stretch balance on the side. Exhale, elbow to knee and reach. Elbow to knee and reach. Elbow to knee and reach. One more, elbow to knee and reach. Pivot, come back to your mat, downward facing dog. Okay, now take the right leg up, bend the knee, open the hip, and start to shift forward, taking the foot past the left palm, pivot the right toe, the left toes down, lift your heart and chest into fallen angel, try and keep the legs straight as possible, and lower the hip, and lift the hip, and lower the hip, and lift the hip. Straight, strong legs, one more. Lower the hip, lift the hip, stay here, and start to circle the arm. Wide circles as you're lifting with the hips and pressing with that right arm, and reverse the circle. Keep lifting those hips, straight, strong legs. Pivot the palm down, slide the foot back, step into plank. Chaturanga, upward facing dog. And now right knee to wrist, look back, stay on your toes, squeeze your glutes, and left knee to the wrist, step back. Right knee to the wrist, step back. Left knee to the wrist, step back. Curl the toes, downward facing dog. Okay, let's check out the other side. And you know what? I'm going to turn so I'm facing you guys a little bit more. Okay. Left leg up, bend the knee, open the hip, and start to come through plank, slide the foot past the palm, and then right arm up. Look up, lift the hips, keep the legs straight, and lower the hips. Make sure your feet are pressing, and lift, and lower, straight legs and lift and lower, lift and lower strong legs, lift, stay here and start to circle the arm, top arm, circling around, keep lifting the hips, pushing with that left arm, reverse the circle. And now pivot back down, slide the foot back, Step into plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog. 
left knee to wrist, squeeze those glutes, right knee to wrist, step back, left knee, step back, right knee, step back, curl the toes, downward facing dog. Now, from this position, you can stay here or you can walk your feet in, squeeze the elbows toward each other and try and lower. And you're just gonna do little pulses, getting the elbows closer to the floor, getting into those calves. Don't let the elbows flare out. And two more. And last one. And now walk the feet out and slow and control, lower into your dolphin and little pulses of your head and chest toward your legs. Okay, now push back, same time, lift the elbows off the mat and adjust. And slowly come down Whew. and roll out the shoulders. Pretty quick, I'm sweaty, I hope you are, and reverse the circles. And the good thing is you can do this again on repeat, bring the back of the palms together. And I was timing this, that was about nine minutes and 35 seconds around. Okay, keep drawing the elbows to the floor, make sure you're not using your upper traps. This is a really, really good wrist stretch, back of the wrist, because we were weight bearing on them considerably. Okay, and then shake it out. So remember, this class, I am here to help you with any of the classes to be your guide for anything you're working towards, to give you that athletic edge to keep progressing forward into what matters most to you in terms of mobility, flexibility, and strength. And the best way is to challenge yourself with someone pushing you and guiding you along the way. I hope you enjoyed this. Comment below, down below the word core and let me know how it went for you and definitely practice this again. I'll see you next time.